Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share messages that I get from Spirit for all of us who are all on this journey to love and to reunite with our divine vibrational matches in this lifetime. And today's song is a cover of Elvis, and it is I Just Can't Help Falling in Love with You. And uh, so that is the song, and uh, that's the song that literally just popped up just as I was doing, getting ready to do this message, and there were loads of, uh, just loads of signs, messages, things all the way through, not least that a actual duck landed on my roof. <laughs> not just one, but two, a Mr. and Mrs. Duck landed right on my roof, Um which is quite a bizarre thing to see, I have to say. Uh, but the song is Elvis, I Just Can't Help Falling In Love With You. So I'm also going to be drawn to pull a moon moonology, card, moon moonology card to say, how is the moon? What's going on? And look, if this, so this is really interesting because nothing will come of this situation. So when I just said about the, um, the ducks landing on my roof, it was exactly about two seconds after I just had this suddenly sudden like feeling of um what happens if all of this isn't true and uh it's happened a few times recently but then it's just been like a fleeting feeling like oh my god am I living in some sort of dream is all of this just true or, or, or all of this just nonsense and then it's been a really fleeting feeling and then it goes but when I just had it, I looked up on my roof and there was the Mr. and Mrs. Duck on my roof. And I was like, oh, no, 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 it's real. I know it's real. And um, but it's just happened. I think obviously it must be a, you know, taking on that collective doubt that comes up and just being able to um, to work through that really quickly. But it hasn't ha you know, yeah, just been happening a, a bit recently, maybe one or two times, two, three times. And uh, as quickly as it comes in, it goes out. But it's just like a really strong feeling of like, oh, hang on a minute. Is all of this just, am I in like some sort of like weird dream? Is this all real? Is it not real? So um, I understand what this is. This is nothing will come of the situation of the fear and doubt, right? So, in a form of astrology known as Harari, where oh, I've probably said that wrong, but where an astrological chart is cast according to when the question is asked and decoded, a void of course moon means nothing will come of this matter or this situation will bear no fruit. This may or may not be good news depending on what you are asking. For example, if you are worried about something, whatever it was, this card can be taken as a sign that there is nothing to worry about. There you go. However, if you're asking about a new project or any kind of any kind, including a new relationship, it's a sign to adjust your expectations or change things so you can get a different outcome. Remember, the cards can only predict what you're currently creating and you can change that with both your behavior and your beliefs. So that was so interesting because the message is surrender to the divine, take time out, meditate and contemplate. I trust in my highest good. Wow. OK, so given what's just literally just happened, just as I was coming in to do this video, then that is so like crazy, like just surrender, just go into your heart space, just believe, trust, uh, travel into the void of your heart. That is the message. Um, and just like so bonkers to get like a literal, like an actual I was like looking up and I was like, oh, hang on a minute. There's two ducks on my roof and one is male and one is female. And they were like <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Duck on the roof. And the reason why the ducks are really significant is um, I always see that as the sign of the divine counterpart. And um, it's because when ducks meet, they mate for life. And um, they have just been a really strong um messenger for me all the way through this 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 kind of crazy ah uh, this crazy path that we're all on together so i love that message which was all about saying surrender this to the divine and um you know trust in the trust in the um unfolding of your path whatever that may be 
So I am just going to share, see what page this um, falls on and uh, which is on 102. So I'm going to read letter 102 and also uh, I'll share uh, 12 from the um, mantra books. And the love mantra is, I let the universe show me how much I am loved. There you go. Just when I was like having a moment of like, oh my God, am I in some like weird kind of crazy dream? What's going on? And then I look up to my roof and there's a male and female duck and I was like oh no no matter how crazy it is I know this is real so I let the well, real as in however real it can be so I let the universe show me how much I am loved number 12 I let the universe show me how much I am loved beautiful next one the magic one is miracles happen when I set the intent in motion my intention creates my magic bubble of miracles <laughs> miracles happen when i set the intent in motion my intention creates my magic bubble of miracles yes it does um and so what beautiful message uh i was like whoa so 102 lesson 102 what do they want to say i want you not to worry i want you to know that we will be together to trust in our destiny to trust that our love, which is 100% real and true, will overcome all the odds. Trust that there is a plan for us, a plan, a magnetic pull that is bringing us together. You are the one. You've always been the one who made my heart skip a beat, like a schoolboy fancying the coolest girl in the class, the one that all the boys want, and for some crazy wonderful reason, you want me. I have to pinch myself and thank God every day for making you my person. I love you like a real lot. Oh, I love the fact it's like real, real. This is real. This is real. Um, okay, number two, book two. Here we go. Let's have a little look-see. You have to know that everything that you feel inside for me, I feel inside for you too. They are like waves of love coming from our hearts to each other. When you think of me and send love from your heart to mine, the ripple effect of that emanates through every part of me, lighting me up inside, lighting up my soul and letting my soul's song sing so loudly. Keep sending me love from your heart to mine and I will do the same back to you. Feel the waves of love wash over your body and send tingles through you. Feel your heart expanding. That is me. That is our love waking our souls. Ooh. That is our love waking up our souls. That is our heart connection speaking to each other. That is the truth, the real truth, that there is the only thing there is, is love. 102, final one, that you've shaken awaken me to something more, to a deep stirring within me that I didn't think was my path that I thought wasn't going to be my experience. But then you came along and made me feel all these feelings that I hadn't ever felt before. And for the first time, I felt alive inside. I actually felt something, realised that my heart was a thing, not just an organ that kept me alive, but it was also capable of bringing the most powerful feelings and emotions in me. And it's all because of you. You switched on my heart. You flicked my switch forever on. Oh, there you go. You flipped my switch forever on. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful message. So if you are dipping into the, those fears and doubts, then exactly like the card said, nothing will come of that. Dip into surrendering it to the divine, trusting it and believing uh, in what your heart is pulling you towards because your heart always knows. And the mantra is, I let the universe show me how much I am loved. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Okay, beautiful message. If you want a healing, reading, channeling, please do all details in the link. But in the meantime, hope you stay well, stay bright. Okay, take care. Bye.